a short break and we have been playing you faithful god by prince kisi now he is no new person or face to the table of life i mean the last time he was here we're talking about faithful god and his upcoming events now the event is just near and he's here to talk all about it preparation towards it where we'll be performing at the event the theme of the event and a few questions here and there so you're welcome thank Grace you Kissy. thank you thank you welcome. now he's a u.s yeah. based Ghanaian gospel musician we just have to let you know <laughs> u.s based <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. I like what you're wearing with Thank the you. white and all that. Thank you so much. You're always, always dripping though. Yeah, the son of <laughs> yeah. hope. Yeah. Yeah. Always repping the son of hope. That's yes. right. How That's are right. you doing? I am well. I'm well. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm also well. I mean, the last time you were here, as I said, we were talking about faithful God. Mm -hmm. How has it been doing so far? Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad. I mean, the feedback is awesome. Feedback yeah. is awesome. And the I numbers mean, keep rising. I'm sure you had a vision for Faithful God when you were writing it. Mm -hmm. Has those vision been realized? Or very much so. Very much so. Very much so. I, like I said the, the last time I was here, the goal is to target, I mean, I want to I wanna reach out to the whole world. But yeah. even if I get just one person to be blessed, mm -hmm. I, I think that's fulfilling. And numerous people have been reaching out, testimonies mm -hmm. all over the place. So mm -hmm. I'm interested in the testimonies. <laughs> if you can yeah. share one or um, two with us. I think on my YouTube, I think a nurse came and wrote it on there that she was just playing it while going about her duty. Mm -hmm. And she said almost everybody in the ward began to sing mm -hmm. along. And yeah. it's, it's, it's just rewarding, mm -hmm. you know, because in that state of seemingly hopeless situation, uh, when you are sick and you are going through all of that pain and all, if you can come out of yourself and still declare the faithfulness of God, I think mm -hmm. that is fulfilling. So yeah. that's how, one of how the How does that make you feel? I mean, apart from being fulfilled how do you feel when you you read comments like these people come to you with such testimonies and all that i'm encouraged you're encouraged yeah, i'm encouraged to continue yeah. yeah i'm encouraged to just do more yeah. you never know what god would do with you you never know what god can do through you yeah yeah so when when i when i get some of these things it pumps me up okay. to do more mm -hmm. do, do you see yourself i mean doing so much like when it comes to the gospel industry i mean i mentioned that you, you are u.s based do you see yourself finally settling in ghana and doing gospel 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 not no longer u.s based yeah. but <laughs> Ghanaian -based. Oh, my community, the you know, I, I, know, I, I know what i'm saying <laughs> the money's not there so let's yeah. be there i beg uh -huh. <laughs> do you see yourself I currently <laughs> no ma. <laughs> okay, that's, 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 that's you being honest. Yeah. That's good. I mean, that's good. like you know, that's I good. mean, doing it here. Yeah. Um. Yes, but to move down here, mm -hmm. I have not thought of that yet. Mm -hmm. But why not? Because I also remember the last time you were talking about how you know the gospel music industry out there is not uh, as easy as here. Like you know, things are not really that smooth there. So why wouldn't you rather want to be here? I mean, to <laughs> do the song here, like I said, yeah, that one, yes, that's that's solid. But to move down here, you know, there is more to my life than gospel. Yeah, music. I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You go, you go, go cow. Yeah. 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 And, and you work as well. Yeah. I do. Yeah. 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 Maybe you okay. can do your work in Ghana here. No, the work. Yeah, don't want to move into Ghana yet. Not yet. Like with the ambulance. Yeah, the paramedics. Something healthcare. So you have to be there. <laughs> See, and the money is good. Mm. Well, it's okay. But I mean, let's talk about your music. Mm -hmm. As she said, the testimonies is encouraging. I mean, it's fulfilling. Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? In the next the, 10 years. With gospel. Are you going to be a pastor or? Well. <laughs> in the next 10 years, I just, you know, if Jesus tarries, I see myself still pushing hard. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this music thing that I'm doing, especially what is happening this Saturday, yeah. um, atmosphere of worship, it's, it's a global thing. Mm -hmm. You know, started in the city of Loganville, now it's happening here 
in uh, East Lagos and Jengano. Mm. It's a global thing. Mm. So I foresee that in the next 10 years, I, in my small way, would want to push the gospel. I'm, you glad, know, I'm glad you mentioned the atmosphere mm -hmm. of worship. Mm -hmm. I mean, why atmosphere of worship? As in, why, why yeah. the title? Yeah, why the well, title? I, was, I think I was saying it in, um, I was at Adam, mm. Adam TV when I was telling them, you know, the very beginning of this. When God gave me this vision, the name that first came to me was Shekinah, the Shekinah Encounter. But I was a little bit hesitant. Mm -hmm. I did not push for it. You know, five months down the line, I saw that a lady in Virginia, Akusia Dankwa, God bless you, woman of God, wherever you are, had started doing a worship session like I'm doing, and the title was also Shakina. <laughs> and I found out a couple of months ago that she's actually my sister. We are related, you know. Ooh. So when God gave it to me, that was the name, but I was hesitant. So he mm. gives it to somebody, and that is typical of God. Yeah. You know, when it comes to God, the vision remains the same, but the players are always different. Mm. So he gave it to somebody else. But so I went back to him the second time, and then he gave me this atmosphere of worship mm. that is going to be the banner the umbrella under which every year he will give me a word or a yeah. theme for the session. So last year was yeah. the awakening. Yeah. This year is the Exodus. The Exodus. And the Exodus. I mean, we all know Exodus, how the Israelites left mm -hmm. Egypt and mm -hmm. spent 40 years in the wilderness and all that. They went through a lot. That's right. What are you trying to tell us with this theme for this particular year? Yes. I think it's more so what God is trying to say to his people. And um, like we all know, when we hear the word exodus or transition, it's usually around December, you know, mm. crossover, yeah. crossover. Jump over. Jump over, <laughs> <laughs> leap over, stuff like that. But the Lord spoke to me and I heard him clear mm -hmm. that there is about to be a move. If you have studied the themes that I give to atmosphere of worship, I'm telling a story. Mm -hmm. The first one was the awakening. Mm -hmm. That means you've been sleeping for too long, it's time to rise. This one is the exodus. God is going to move us. Yeah. Anybody that's going to be a part of this, mm. whether virtual or in person, mm. God is going to move us from one place to another. It can be from a place of lack to abundance. Mm. It can also be from a place of um, pain, a mm. place of resentment. Okay. You know, sometimes when you talk about exodus, everybody's... Thinking about the good things. Good. Yeah. yeah. Move me from Ghana to America. <laughs> Which is not bad. Or even move me from America to Ghana. Because sometimes, <laughs> no, no, sometimes we think being there is a blessing. So, some people there, their blessing is here. Mm. But that's, that's what, oh, yes. Mm. Look, that's another message. Mm. Listen, listen, yeah. listen. There, is, there, is, there, is, there is money here. I'm telling you. Somebody's, somebody's breakthrough is just to move down here. But anyway, some of us do. We have it's to true. Move. What's true? That is very true. That some is of us, we have to move. Mm. Yeah. No, that is very true. <laughs> so, so it's yeah. all about a, you know, a movement. Yeah. You yeah. know, from a place of sin to a place of yeah. holiness, from a place of lack to a place of abundance, from a place of retrogression, uh, retrogression to a place of um, productivity. God is just going to move us. Mm. We are moving. Okay, as you, as you mentioned, you've organized this event in the U U U.S. before, right? Mm -hmm. And now you're coming to Ghana. How, what were some of the things that you asked about hosting events in Ghana? And how, have, how has it been so far? Well, first of all, um, let's, let's, let's move away from the spiritual factor. Let's come back to... For me, the first thing is the venue. Mm -hmm. okay. It's very, very important. And while I am on this alley, let me just um, recognize... Um, pastor Eric Ehemeku, oh, the Destiny ICGC. Prophet. He is the senior pastor of ICGC Open Heavens Temple, where this is happening. Okay. Um, the one thing that I have loved about the place is that they do not depend on ECG. Mm. Wow. wow. I mean, think about it. Having such a service mm -hmm. with everything that you've put in it, then yeah. oh. doom so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. You have to wait, set up yeah. again, do things. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the place is well organized. Mm. I'm telling you, the place is well organized. The facility is tight. Top the, notch. The, the discipline there is tight. The people there, the culture is just exceptional. Mm. 
Mm. And you know, I have a very beautiful relationship with him mm -hmm. by virtue of my spiritual father, Dr. Franco Fosuapia. Okay. And so the venue mm. was the first thing for me. Okay. And then, of course, the part that you like, the <laughs> advertisement. <laughs> you know, <laughs> making sure you are intentional yeah. Yeah. in making yeah. sure that the thing is pushed. Yeah. 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 So it's been, so I agree, the animation has been so cool for you. Like, not so much of a challenge. Well, it's been okay. I so mean, okay. challenges come in life. But, mm. you know, we just step on the bricks and we rise. Okay. Okay. Sure. I mean, one thing I would say I like about the current IGP is how through his warnings to prophets and pastors, their yearly messages and how they decrease the doomsday kind of you oh. know, prophecy uh, and uh, all uh, that. Uh, uh. So when you mentioned, you know, things that people want to hear, like... I'm moving from here to that. That question just uh, popped in. And mm. I want to find out from you, like, your opinion on the kind of messages. Because ever since he said that, we don't hear that again. Is it that God has stopped giving them those kind of messages? Or he gives them, but they're trying to be careful not to be liable of the law. And hence, they are not telling us. And if you get a message from God and you don't say it, what are the consequences of it? Well, um, this is a heavy question. <laughs> not to say I do not have an opinion. <laughs> you know, opinions are like armpits. Everybody has to. Oh, <laughs> the truth of the matter is that the personalities that have been involved in this subject, they are people I consider fathers. Oh. I dare not sit on any platform to talk about it. Okay. I have, I have an opinion. Mm -hmm. But I won't. Not me. Okay. Not now. At least not now. Not now. Maybe when I get to a place where I have the weight to talk about okay. it, yes. But now, no. But ideally, if God gives you a message and you don't say it, what are the consequences of it? I mean, God sent Jonah to Nineveh. Mm -hmm. We all knew the story. Yeah. He didn't want to go. We all know where <laughs> he landed. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's, that's God and his prophet. <laughs> And, okay. and God deals with people differently, yes, though. I mean, God true. has different relationships with people. He that's can tell true. me something, I may not say it to you, I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. But he can tell you something, you may not say it to me, yeah. and you may have issues with him. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's good. Let's look at uh, mm -hmm. the people that are performing yes. on the night. Yes. There's Ankla, too, which yes. I'm so glad. And uh, uh, Kofi was super proud. Yes. Ooh. And uh, yeah. Daughters of uh, Glorious Jesus. Uh -huh. They're also there. Yes. Emoji wow. music. Emoji is also there. Emoji is coming. Wow. This is like, it's going to heavy. be beautiful. Heavy. Yeah. Heavy loaded. Heavy loaded. Mm -hmm. Heavy, heavy loaded. But I mean, viewers are watching us. Right. And they've seen, I mean, I'm mentioning the names of those that are going to be there. But they're still asking, why should I be there? Mm. What are you going to tell them? I mean, the Bible says that none shall come into his presence and live the same. You know what the Bible speaks about the mercies of God, that they are new every morning? You know, God is constantly doing new things mm -hmm. every day. So, yeah, you might have been at an MOG concert last week. You were blessed there. You have no yeah. idea what God has for you this Saturday. Yeah. So I just want them to come expectant. You know, the mm -hmm. Bible says that the expectation of the righteous shall never be cut short mm -hmm. or shall never be, shall never be yeah. cut off. So they should, they should just come, mm -hmm. you know, and just believe God for the exodus, yeah. something is going to break. And the ICGC, you know, that, that, that ICGC branch is called Open Heavens. <laughs> yeah. The first time I posted the flyer, Prophet Eric, the senior pastor came and commented under, let there be open heavens. Ooh. For me, that word has gone forth. Yes. Something is going to change in somebody's life. Open and with heavens. all these, everything is free. Free. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this thing we have words. issues with free <laughs> when it comes to gospel stuff. Well, this one, uh, we don't have a problem. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> no, this one. But how, I mean, no, I, I'm sure the that. Final, okay, yeah, I, I wanted everything. to ask about the venue, the, but I'm yeah. sure the venue is not. From the way he right. spoke about it's the like, fact that the like venue free. has. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not paying anything. I am venue. paying something, but the truth of the matter is that the senior pastor and his leadership, and of course, this is also by virtue of my relationship with my spiritual mm -hmm. father. Yeah. What I am paying is literally nothing. Okay. okay. But it's, okay. I'm, not, I'm not being given, I mean, it yeah. runs yeah. on energy, yeah. Yeah. manpower, stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm really paying, but 
I still it's not, it's because not, it's not, it's nothing, Christ. It's like they've given it to me for yeah. free. Yeah. And the people that are performing. Yes. You're not paying them. Oh, I am honoring them. I cannot so, pay them. Okay. I will just honor That's them. That's what they say. Yeah. Yes. 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 In, in the so, Christian for the other way up. Yeah. Low key. Low key. Yeah. Check it. <laughs> but you guys. I mean, sponsorship. Yeah. You're sponsored, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have a couple of people from my church ah. um, okay. who have businesses down here. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you take a look at the flyer, they are on there. Mm -hmm. You know, they are throwing their weight fully behind me. Okay. And uh, God also stirs the hearts of individuals, though, mm -hmm. to come to me, hey, I want to help out with this, I want to help out with that. So, in case God can stir any of your hearts, <laughs> Amen. I'll we're gladly okay. take it. I direct yeah, you to yeah, the well. people yeah. who... <laughs> I, I, I mean, time is far gone. Yeah. We, we have another interview. So, okay. I mean, it's happening this Saturday. Yes. It's free. 3 p.m. Sharp. Give us, give us the direction. Yes. I mean, for those that might not know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, the spot, I'm told, is Islamic University Junction. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. Because I was I wondering, I drink on which side. Yes. But I, I, I get Islamic it. University okay. Junction. Once you get there, you have flyers of the program mm. that will lead you to the venue mm. straight. Oh, okay. I think I've been there before. Ransford's 3 p.m. Ah, right. that's where we went. Yes. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. From a drink and a junction, you go straight. So yeah. You get to uh, the T junction. The T junction. So Islamic yes. University. Yes. Take your ah. left. Take your left. Oh. Just go straight. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's a beautiful No, no, I think, I think <laughs> you should say it again so people who do not know. <laughs> yeah, like, what? From East Legon, you take Ligon. the main Adringano Road. Take the main Adringano Road. Uh, after Rollins' house, you still house. Head, straight. head straight. You get to a T junction. Get to a T junction. Your right to take you to Chasako. Your right your to take you to Chasako. Your left to take you to the Islamic University. Islamic. You go straight down. <laughs> There's a sharp curve. That's right. You continue down. And the church is there. Nice one. Nice one. Awesome. <laughs> I'm not trying to say I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Oh, yeah. Rafi, yeah. yeah. She's saying that. That was my thing. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To know the future Hello. atmosphere of worship in years to come, are you going to do it around the world? Or how yes, like yes, like I said, Elio, it's a global thing, yeah. man. It's a global thing, it's a global thing. The global right. thing. Watch out for it. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, this Saturday, I'm excited. the atmosphere 3 PM. of worship, yeah. the mm -hmm. Exodus, mm -hmm. things are going to change for you. So, Amen. please Amen. make sure you are. I mean, it's free. But that doesn't mean that you go to the house of God <laughs> empty handed. Empty handed. Yeah. Yes. You have to go with something. Come as you are with something in your pocket. There'll be item 13. Look oh, at that. Yeah. So, yes. Like, goes item you are 13. going to right. receive blessings <laughs> and your stomach will be full as well. Your spirit and your body will be full. <laughs> you can't it's a place this. to be. <laughs> you know Thank what? Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I say a lot of things in my ears. <laughs> they want to go at you. All right. Nana. You know what? Well, to you. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Me.